when you're receiving error messages in an IMAP account, such as your IMAP server wants to alert you to the following, you cannot move a folder into itself or something similar to that. You'll need to delete the OST file and let Outlook rebuild it. That will eliminate the error. Before you delete the IMAP data file, you want to make sure that you don't have any contents in the this computer only folder. You can see I have some items there. Change the view to the list view so we can see exactly how many. We also have contacts. This one's also easier to use in list view. There's nothing in journal, nothing in notes, and nothing in tasks. So I need to export the contents of these two folders to a new data file. We can do this using the file open and export, import and export method. You have to repeat the steps for uh, the calendar and then for the contacts. The other option is to create a new data file in Outlook and set it as the default data file. Go to File, Account Settings, Data Files, and click Add. I'm going to name it Calendar and Contacts so I know what's in it. And I'm going to set it as the default data file. Because this data file hasn't actually had any calendar and contacts entered into it yet, I will need to restart Outlook. Now I have the calendar and contacts folder there. I can go to this folder, select all, drag to that calendar. I also said contacts and I'll drag the contact over into that folder. By creating this separate PST file, we don't risk losing the calendar and contacts going forward. Any new appointments will go in the PST file, uh, and any new contacts will go in this data file. Right-click on the IMAP account and choose Open File Location. This will open the folder to the location where the IMAP OST file is stored. Close Outlook and delete this file. Restart Outlook. This rebuilds the IMAP data file. It eliminates the this computer only folder, so you'll only have the mail folders here, and you'll have the calendar and contacts in this separate data file. If you prefer to use just one data file and use those this computer only folders, you would have exported the contents to a new PST file, and then you can import those into this account after you restart Outlook.